Welcome back to episode 5. This week has been a very strange one, with Boris announcing yet another national lockdown and Harry and I stumbling across more hardships with our van build than what we've experienced so far. But throughout all our lows involving arguing, Hold on to me, babe. Why did you do it more? I'll try to take it out. Patronisation. Why are you being patronised? I'm getting on the forehead. And putting each other in our place. Yeah, honestly, you don't talk to a woman like that. We've experienced some serious highs where things suddenly work out for us. Go! <laughs> Let's go! We're moving! Or where we find ourselves belly laughing for no real reason. <laughs> anyway, in this episode, we tackle lots of small but important jobs, including blacking out our back windows, installing our wall timber framework, cutting out and wood staining our lower wall panels, and much, much more. All right, so let's get into it. So the first thing that we got on with was blacking out the back windows because since we have a Ford Transit minibus, we have eight windows along the side of the bus. So we thought we'd black the back two sets out and then clad over them uh, just to give us a bit of privacy at the back of the bed and a bit more, make it a bit more cozy back there. So we used this cling blackout wrap stuff from eBay, which we can put a picture here right now and we'll also put the link in the description. Um, and it was okay. It wasn't great. So what we did was we washed our windows, we put the film on and then we squeegeed it. Um, we were meant to put like specks of soapy water on which is what we did as well. But it just wasn't sticking very well so we just taped the edges up and that did it fine. It all looks fine from the outside yeah, as you can see. Fine. Like we did these windows here. So um... But it just didn't stick as well as we thought. But it's okay. So then we got onto our timber stud framework which we found a huge task, didn't we? It was a bit of a mission because it turns out that although we thought our drill was quite good and our electric screwdriver was quite good, they struggled to get through the metal in a lot of the walls. So um, we bought some new metal heads for our screwdriver and they just snapped. So um, we're still struggling with that. We've hit a bit of a bit of a problem, but we're going to get through it. We also found with that, when we were drilling into the side of the walls, obviously we put our thermo fleece insulation, like our fluffy insulation behind it. And when we were drilling through it, when it was turning, it was coiling all of the insulation into a really thick ball and it was completely getting stuck. Like we couldn't get the drill head back out. So just make sure that you kind of, if you can, maybe don't fill up all the beams where you're going to be drilling into. Just kind of do it in all the squares so you know where it all is, because obviously it does get cooled up and becomes quite long. Yeah. So to let out some anger from all this, uh, we then decided to cut out our plywood for the boot of our minibus. So we just went round and we uh, measured the area and we got a nice little template, cut it out with the jigsaw and then fitted it into the bus. Yeah, it was for our lower, lower walls. Yeah, our lower walls of the boot, just below our bed. Perfect. Yeah? Yeah, really good. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! <laughs> Doing well, babe. Are you giving all the encouragement now you're on camera? <laughs> Doing <laughs> well, babe. Love you. Minute ago, you're like, don't be such a fucking idiot. <laughs> you piece of shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Doing well, babe. Why? Oh, you are. I've got. <laughs> You're so salty. So then we got on with sanding that, cutting that out, and then we wood stained it with this Ron Seal natural oak um, wood stain, which is actually really nice. It was it? really nice, yeah. And we used these paint brushes as well. I think they're called Harry's paint brushes. We got them from Screwfix. I think we got like a pack of six, and they were they were really good. Weren't they? Mm -hmm, really good. And then we varnished our wood stained plywood, which was really easy. It was just one thin layer of varnish over the top, which will hopefully be on your screen now. Um, <laughs> And yeah, we, we got it from Wix. Yeah, we got it from Wix. Well, we didn't. We got it free from my dad. So thanks, dad. You the man. Shout out. But yeah, um, really easy, really quick, really simple. And then we moved on to carpeting around the doors. Yo, guys. So, our carpet came. Woo! <laughs> with what? Oh, with our spray adhesive. That's what it came with. We've got some trim hold high temperature adhesive for you. But yeah, we're just doing this. So we're going to go around all the edges of the van and we're going to put some carpet and adhesive it on so it has a nice sleek finish to it at the end when the wood's on top of it so there's not any panels showing where they shouldn't be we're just going to crack on cool let's do it let's do it so we obviously did the back doors of our van so then we moved on to the sliding doors we did those and we showed the before and after picture on our Instagram story. So if you haven't followed our Instagram yet, go and do that. Go and follow it at The Vambitious Project. We'll put it down here, The Vambitious Project. That was big, <laughs> that was extra. And that concludes our week of DIY vanning. 
it was just a week of like lots of little jobs really but yeah guys make sure you like and you subscribe and you leave a comment if any of this helped you or just yeah. leave a comment say hello because you know we're bored lockdown we like a chat yeah and we want to see who's actually watching yeah so but yeah see you guys later peace subscribe just do it it's not scared the shit out of me Ah, <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>